Hey guys, um, it's kind of late at night and um, I've just been thinking about a whole lot of stuff lately and things that I went through in my life that's really kind of made me a strong person, um, actually a stronger person. And I, I credit a lot of it to my mom because she was a strong lady. So I had a really good, I had a really good role model in that aspect um, to mold me into being a strong woman. Um, but, you know, I kind of often wonder the purpose of everything. I, I came on YouTube and, and initially I thought that it was a, like a hobby. And it is. It is a hobby. But, you know, my, my kids are all gone. They're all grown and they're all gone. And so I was like, well, you know, YouTube would give me something to do. But being the type of person I am, I don't do things just to do things it has to mean something for me to do it and it has to serve a purpose and it has to I mean it just has to have some type of uh, reaching effect so if you will maybe even a pay it forward so I, you know the purpose of the video it, it is about being homeless, me being homeless, and oftentimes you you'll see homeless people on the corner. They'll have their signs up and this type of thing. And anytime I see that, I always reach into my bag and give them some money. Um, whether I know that they're out there conning or you know they're really really homeless. Um, and I do, you know, I try to do other things to help people that that are in need, you know, donate clothes or whatever like that. And food drives, I partic participate in that. Um, but me, my experience being homeless w was, it wasn't as long as a time as some people go through where they're homeless for years and years and years and I am one that believes that God takes us through things for a reason and it's not to keep that information to yourself it's to share that information and so that's what this forum here on YouTube is for. At least for me, that's what it's for. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize I was going to um, kind of react this way. But, um, me being homeless has been a profound experience. Um, and I was homeless back in, oh, it's been some years. I want to say like the late 90s. Luckily, my kids weren't with me. I uh, had two kids at the time, and my daughter was my oldest girl. She was, you know, with her dad. Uh, I'm sorry, with my mom, my, her granny. And my son was with his dad because he was at that age where he needed his 
um, his father's guidance. So, you know, it just amazes me how God does things. <laughs> and that's why I love him so much. But I became homeless um, behind a man. I was living in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina at the time. And uh, I had a job. I quit my job. He received a promotion. And his promotion was taking him to another uh, part of the state. So he was going to um, another part of North Carolina. So being that we were together, we were living together, I automatically assumed that I would be moving to the new location with him. Well, make a long story short, that invitation was not extended to me. Um, I am a very headstrong person. I can be very stubborn. And that just wasn't going to fly with me. I set up here and I got everything ready, packed up uh, his our apartment, got the, the movers there, everything was set in motion and he was already there and he let me know over the phone that he wanted to start over without me. So I got my car and I drove to where he was. And uh, needless to say, um, that's the way it was. He wanted to start over without me. So that left me without a place to stay. And you guys know my hometown is Indiana. So uh, I didn't really want to come home. So I drove back to Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, met up with uh, what was supposed to be my best friend. So got to her house, and I told her everything that went on, and she was like, well, you know, I'm, I'm on Section 8, and if they come and they do an inspection, this, that, and the other, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'll get in trouble so you can't stay here. Now I know my own strengths and I knew at that time jobs were very plentiful and I knew I only needed a month to crash with somebody. So she said no so I end up I called my mom and I told my mom what was going on and so you know at that time gas was like very very reasonably priced so it would only took me forty dollars in gas to get home so she said well I give you the money before the phone call ended I told my mom never mind I said I'm not coming home like this so hung up the phone with her and left my <clears throat> Girl, my best friend's house, my girlfriend's house. I left her house with no destination, no no plan, no nothing, just out there. And so I knew of this park, very beautiful park. So I went went to this park, and luckily this was in the summertime, so I was good to go. I didn't have to worry about the snow or anything like that. So. Um, had my car, crashed out, I had my clothes in the car, everything I owned was in the car. So all I had were, you know, my clothes. And I crashed in the park. And I did this every night. And I believe I was homeless for almost two months before I ran into another, um, associate that I, um, no. And before I met her, my my thing was I knew I had to find another job 
and in order for me to get a place to stay I need a job so I would go to this building it was a beautiful um, tall glass building and I would go and I would go in there and I would wash up and change clothes underwear everything and I would go and I would put in applications every day every day every day and I got a job and what I I'm telling you God is so good he is so good I went to um, the store was called um, Bilo it was a grocery store and they were hiring on the spot because I didn't have a phone so if somebody was offering me a job didn't have a phone and so they were hiring on the spot um, and at this time I ran into that associate um, uh, that I knew so she gave me a place to stay she, uh, her, she was a twin so she and her sister were living together and they had their kids but they had a, a big house so she offered me a place to crash and I, I had already told her so all I need is a month that's all I need so she she let me come in I was cool with everybody in the family you know her husband and and uh, her sister and the kids and everything so crashed there and that's how I got the job um, uh, at Bilo I got the job while I was living with them and so I stacked up enough money to you know where I could get my own place and that's all I needed was one month and I got that one month under my belt and I was gone and you know they were like you know you ain't gotta go like right now but I was always taught by my mom you don't wear out your welcome nowhere I already felt bad because I didn't have any money to offer for you know crashing there or anything like that at the time before I got my job and so that always stayed in the back of my head you know you don't overstay your welcome nowhere so that's why I put a month's time frame on now so got my job and I kept my friends they've been my friends and um, being homeless out there like that and I really didn't call myself homeless until one day I was laying in the park and this was it was early morning so I I had you know went to sleep outside cuz back then you didn't really worry about nobody you know harming you or anything like that so sun started coming up so I just kinda laid out on on the grass and the joggers it was time for the joggers to come out and so they were jogging around and I was asleep and I heard two men and they said, man, look at her. She's homeless. And I woke up. And I was like, I am homeless. I was looking at it as I was transitioning from one spot and just waiting for another spot to open up. I mean, it just was not homeless did not come into my thinking I, I wasn't thinking like that but when he said that it was true I was I'm like you are homeless you don't you don't have nowhere to stay and so I guess that's why when it comes down to struggling that doesn't bother me because that's that's a struggle right there you you at the bottom you at the bottom but 
if you persevere and you have more that you want out of your life than that and don't get me wrong I'm not saying that the homeless people that's out there don't have that I've always had this thing that I want to help the homeless even before my own experience I remember doing a, a essay um, I believe when I was in middle school I did an essay on wanting to help the homeless because you know it wasn't many homeless people at that time you know and so I've always had this passion about helping others and and more so helping homeless people and so when I went through that it gave me a whole nother insight on how I view people And so as I was saying, I'm not saying that the people that are homeless don't have that drive and they don't have that determination to change their circumstances. But if you don't have nobody to help you and to give you a hand up, how can you get to the next level? You can't. That's why I really wish people would come together better I mean just as a nation as as a human race I just wish we could just reach down and we could just you know lend a hand to somebody that um that needs it and um I, um, that's my dream is to be able to be in a position where I can open up uh, a building and just have businesses that's willing to um, help the homeless people to become independent citizens. And it can be done. I feel that that can be done. And I feel like that's my purpose. That's God's purpose for me is to be able to help the homeless, you know. Man, I didn't know I was, this was not video I was supposed to turn out like this, but I just want people out there, whoever watching this video, in your city, in your state, and just help if you can. You know, I'm not saying open up your house or anything like that, but I'm trying to find a way to... Once I get moved and everything, I want to see if I can get um, funding or something going with that. Um, because I just, I feel like we should just give back to each other. So, I just wanted to come through and share my thoughts and my feelings because... You know, you, you see people on YouTube and you really don't know too much about them. And I just kind of felt like I needed to share that, you know, with my beauties and bowls and anybody that click on my, on my channel. I feel like you should know who this person is behind the camera. So I just wanted to kind of give you also a glimpse of who Gina is. And that's, that's a layer of me. Um, and I wanted to also share how I overcame being homeless 
although it's not it was not a severe case of homelessness nevertheless anytime you don't have a place to go to you are homeless and it taught me to be strong it taught me to be caring and humble and more compassionate to others when they go through things it, it helps me to be able to put myself in that person's shoes and see what their strife and struggle might be and I thank God for that anytime I go through anything that's bad and we should all do that is to not look at it as um a bad experience but look at it as okay where's the solution how what can I do to fix this and then after I come out of it I need to share it I need to maybe help somebody to not take that path or show them if they find themselves in that situation how to get out of it so I'm uh, just I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer. I just wanted to come in really quick. That was on my mind. And um, been on my mind for a while. So I just wanted to come in really and share just another side of me with you all. And um, yeah. That's about it. So I will see you guys later. And um, just keep in mind, if you see somebody in need, reach in your pocket and try to help them. You know, I know it's kind of hard and, you know, you like, well, they probably going to use it for drugs. Just get by my sandwich. Something like that you know but that's it thanks for lending your ear all right beauty symbols i will see you all later and don't worry about your girl i'm not sad i'm just really thankful for the the cross that i had to to bear and and the crosses that are to come that i'll be bearing but I uh, just know, you know, long as I got God on my side, I can come through it. There's nothing too hard that you can't get through. So, I love you much and I'll see you guys on another video. I love you so much. Just always remember that. I love you.